Aura is a car designed for nature with sustainability at its core and efficiency driving its design. When we won the Niche Vehicle Network funding program, this was the ideal opportunity to develop this concept. It was the idea of creating a lightweight electric sports car of the future. And what does performance mean in this new electric age? One, a visceral driving experience, but the second aspect of performance is range. Once we got the funding, we brought together a consortium of British companies, all leaders in the development of electric vehicles. Aura project highlights Astimer design philosophy of harmony, purity and innovation. The design brief was to really create a pure, simple but sculptural, elegant design. So the idea is to use really minimal surfaces but to create something that's really iconic. The design started with the initial hand sketching, so a quick two-week ideation sketch phase to really flesh out and explore the possibilities of what the vehicle could be. We then decided to move forward through into subdivisional modelling. Once we'd selected and refined a theme, we then started to introduce uh, CFD testing into our process. The nature of the design is, is about maximising efficiency and, and the long range aspect. So we've introduced some rear wheel covers and air curtains through the front and on the bonnet, which all help to improve that aerodynamic efficiency. So from the front of the vehicle, we really have a strong wrap right through to the rear with these really sculptural shoulders bumping out to cover the rear wheels to improve the efficiency. At the rear, we have it just sliced off, which uh, helps the uh, surface airflow separation to create a nice clean wake at the rear of the vehicle. The challenge of any design engineer is translating that initial design intent into reality. And we have to do that while protecting all the values that ourselves and our partners have instilled into the project. So what this means is we have to look at interesting new processes and we have to make balances and compromises across the car. And then it's having a look at our engineering package, figuring out what is already set in stone, what can be adjusted, and then making the two meet in the middle. Working with the team at Potenza to massage the chassis modifications into a strong, robust solution that will hold up our body panels. And then working with Tom as our lead designer to finesse the surfacing so that we can bring these things into harmony. Dating back to about 2009, we developed a number of electric sports cars, very, very simple. And what those vehicles proved is that you could develop an electric car that was very efficient, but terrible aerodynamics. It ran big, sticky rubber tires. It had those sort of things encumbering it. So its range was good, but we could see that there was an opportunity to take that concept and extend that to have a vehicle which was world leading in terms of how far you can go for an amount of energy. There are particular challenges in trying to put 88 kilowatt hours of energy storage into a very small sports car. So that has particular physical packaging challenges. In this design, the motor and the other drive components are at the rear of the vehicle. And then this frees up the rest of the vehicle for packaging cells. So in order to make the most of the space, uh, we wanted to get the batteries underneath, or at least one of the batteries underneath the floor of the vehicle. Um, it was sat quite low to the ground and it wouldn't have been possible, so we've gone with the larger diameter wheels to raise the vehicle up and therefore get enough space to, to package a battery underneath the floor. So a battery install um, compared to an internal combustion engine is, is much simpler. We just now have a, a, a simple, clean battery tray. Um, in the instance of Aura, we have um, approximately 10 bolts which just bolt that straight to the chassis. Um, one HV connector and a low voltage connector for the loom and, and that's it. Conjure's involvement in Aura was specifically to demonstrate our capabilities around interface design and development, focusing on the goals of the project, which were to keep sustainability and efficiency of design at the forefront of what we were doing. The starting point for the HMI technology in Aura began with us finding a single compute unit that allowed us to connect to all of the different vehicle subsystems 
and provide a single interface to the two screens that you see in the Aura vehicle, the 10 inch center touchscreen display and the five inch circular wheel mounted display. We designed the data architecture for Aura from the ground up to be a fully connected digital vehicle. Android Automotive brought a number of benefits like being able to control a multi-screen HMI from a single computing unit, as well as providing a really familiar framework for our developers to build the high-level software. From the beginning, we designed the vehicle HMI around sustainability and optimizing efficiency. We've implemented virtual 3D visualization providing real-time feedback on Aura's aerodynamic performance. We've created a new type of driver vehicle connection which allows the driver to adapt their driving style to minimize impact on their surroundings and maximize their range. Given the collaborative nature of the project, I'd say one of the most challenging aspects was aligning our ideas for the design. Uh, it's been an iterative process. Uh, we've had to agree on design specifications, technical feasibility and brand vision uh, across all of the partners involved. Uh, of course, we all wanted to push the boundaries as far as we could. Uh, but once we had everything aligned, we were confident that we were creating a vehicle which best showcased the consortium's range of capabilities. Band Composites is a composites manufacturing company and we've been operating at top tier composite level for the past six years. Astarmer approached us with the idea of presenting a material choice. We put forward a, a natural fibre material which is uh, woven from a hemp, which is a natural flax. We selected some visual areas on the car, so the front splitter, the rear bumper, the side sills. And we chose those areas to, to highlight this natural material, which fits very well with the ethos of, of Aura as a whole. The use of natural fibre above and beyond either carbon fibre or glass fibre is it's more sustainable and more eco-friendly to manufacture and effectively once it's a woven fabric we can process it in very similar ways to any other carbon or glass fibre. So we opted for a pigmented resin which we coupled with the, the natural fibre to highlight the certain areas on the vehicle that, that we wanted to draw people's attention to. The fact that we were selected to, to work on some of the most visual pieces on the vehicle really meant that we could showcase the level of quality that you can achieve with, with natural fibre from a visual point of view. Mechanically and structurally as well, I think uh, natural fibres are really starting to, to hold their own and prove their worth, not just being the only sustainable option, but more of a performance option as well. Being selected to do key areas that really do showcase the design of Aura uh, was a real privilege for us. This has been an extremely challenging project in the timeline that we've had, in the cost budget that we've had, and in the time of lockdowns that we've been through. The team has pulled together and pulled off a remarkable piece of design in those you know, extreme conditions. It's only really with the close collaboration we've had between the different project partners that we've been able to conduct this project in a pandemic. Um, with a long range electric vehicle, we needed to have all of the different partners involved so that we can maximise range. Designing and building a car from the ground up in less than a year has clearly been a challenge. But what's been great about the process, working with the consortium partners, is how the teams have integrated and how we've played to each other's strengths.